What is up everybody? I am Shazel Games and I'm here with another episode of Dust and Elysian Tale. In the last episode we had a guest, Miss Saru Chick was nice enough to join us. And um, we made our way to Abadis Forest to try and do something. I'm not entirely sure what because I forgot. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, but we are here for a reason. Which is good. We have our reason for being here. Whatever that may be. It's a quest probably, right? Maybe. No. Hello. Bueller. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> so let's head in to Abadis Forest and see what's happening. What's up? Not much, because he's dead now. There ain't much happening when you're dead. Finally, we're out of those caverns. What's the matter? Afraid of the dark? Huh. I laugh at the dark. Actually, I'm afraid of heights. But you fly. Wait, heights? How is that possible? You fly all the time. Everywhere. <laughs> oh, do I? I must have forgotten. Just like you must have forgotten that I can still fall at any time. Never looked at it that way. You're an interesting one, Fidget. Yes, thank you, character development. All right. Get out of here, bro. Um, we have a slime guy. Ow. Fucker. There, fuck off. Oh, we got a skill gem. Let's do it. Um, what should we boost? Um, hmm. Let's go for defense, because I'm really bad at dodging, you know, bloms. Though we haven't seen a blom since getting out of Archer's Pass, I think it was called. And, um, here we are, not in Archer's Pass, but Abadis Forest instead. I'm tired. <laughs> That's all I gotta say right now. I just got finished recording Guru Min, and we had some exciting stuff happen. I would, I would, I would have just spoiled it by accident because I didn't realize that um, I just died. I literally just died. <sighs> Fine. Let me do this shit over again. Alright, so as I was saying, before I was so rudely interrupted by these fucking asshole slimes, I, um, I don't remember what I was talking about. Is that bad? Alright, so we just literally have to keep running because these assholes will keep attacking us if we don't. What's up, merchant? I didn't even buy anything, shit fuck. Um, I literally don't remember what I was talking about. So I looked up why we were here, and, uh, we're here to find a girl in denim. Thank you, Save, for fucking healing me. Um, oh my god, it's gonna bother me now that I don't know what we were talking about. But, um, oh yeah, I remember, I was talking about Gudeman, and I was about to give spoilers for what's coming, because I remember this goes up on Tuesday, but the major spoilers are happening on Friday, so keep an eye out for that one if you've been following Gudeman very closely. Um, so, I really like how all the enemies don't look the same, like the slime monsters don't look the same. Like, they're, they're the slime monster, but they also have different designs. Like, that one's the eye one. There's the one with the mouths. You'll probably see it because, you know, that's just how this goes. There, hop on out of here. Bruh. There. Perfect. Um, it's heavy downpouring all of a sudden. In the game. Not in real life. Been re if it was happening in real life, you'd hear it because my windows are open because it's fucking hot as shit in here. So, yeah. Um, 
so tired. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna record this one episode and I'm done. I'll just record the rest tomorrow or something. It has to be in the morning because I'm going by almost Ska's house and I don't feel like recording over there, so I'm lazy. Um, this area is really pretty. I know I've already talked about what we did last episode, but I'm trying to remember myself. So what we did was we went to see the blacksmith, and she was nice enough to... Ow. She was nice enough to direct us this way. This was healing me. Why isn't it healing me now? And she was like, oh yeah, you were supposed to come see my father. My father is out doing something or whatever. He's out sucking dick at the glory holes. And um, he left my brother and I in charge, my brother the gremlin, who does not talk and only speaks in grunts, so he is a gremlin. And um, she wants us to come here for some reason, and I don't remember why. <laughs> Let's see. Dust to dust, alright. And the mayor asked us to come here and find the leader of the monsters. Uh, Mosca wants to find a girl in denim. Um, Blacksmith's daughter. She wants us to find a blue resonance gate. And we can do that. It's not hard. I'm down. I'm down to clown for the resonance gate. Resonance gates make my dick wet, you know. Make my pussy dry. The other way around, make my pussy wet. And something. Vagina. I don't know. And delirious. Or something. Bruh. These things are kind of cute, but at the same time, they look like assholes. Not like literal assholes, I mean like jerks. Assholes. Oh, that one's red. They have different hair colors. It's cute. Um, pick that up, please. Thank you. Alright, there's a thing up there. Bruh. Alright, it was just a treasure key. I'm fine with that. It totally looks like milk. For real. I kinda want milk now. Um, so I'm glad app games are a thing. Because when I'm waiting for my audio to render, I get so bored. Because the audio um, noise reduction takes like five minutes. And app games are good to spend getting done with those five minutes. I think this is the resonance gate that she wanted us to find, so let's find out. There's a slime in here, and the slime's an asshole. There, asshole slime. And we have to bring the blom in here, so... Not the blom, this is just a bomb for... Come on. And this one isn't timed, so we can just take our sweet time with it. Come on. Come on. Who's a good little bomb fruit? Not you, because you're dead. Is this the resonance crystal? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hey, Unfortunate. Is that you? Where are you calling from? Hell. From beyond the grave. Ah, demon blacksmith! That's the worst kind of blacksmith! Is it? <laughs> Would you calm down? I'm at home with Maddie. I see you found my dad's lost receiver. I like the effect yeah, the the resonance gate has. The resonance That's stone. Great. An item, you can do it directly from your inventory. Thank God. Now, Dust, this doesn't mean I don't want you coming up to visit me in person, but at least I can keep an eye on you and help you out whenever you need me. Sure, Haley. I really appreciate the help. Fidget is very easily fooled, you know? Like, she bought that with, like, no effort to try and, like, discern whether or not she was kidding. Oh, fidget. Um, so let's head up. Because we're still supposed to make the way, make our way over to Ab the end of Abadi's forest and Haley's transmitter. With this device, you can make transactions with Haley from anywhere in the world. Thank God, because going up to her fucking house is a pain in the fucking ass. And also, I just fell down, so good fucking job, me.
There's a bridge. Ooh, monsters. Kind of took me by surprise because I wasn't expecting to see the monsters. Out of here. Is this denim? Are we here? It's a fence. And a giant. There, get down. Beautiful. They go down much faster now than regular enemies, which is strange. Because they were kind of hard when they were bosses. Come on, Dust. Hit the one guy. Thank you. Money. Money changes money. Thanks. Alright, thank you for dying. What is in the chest? Um, B, A, A, A. Ba Yay, stuff. Warm pretzel. Three warm pretzels. What else is in that box? Um, Deadly Delight. One Health Cure Silence. We have Wall Chicken. No, I want to check the other stuff. Inventory. Items and Keys. Teleport Stone. Treasure Key. Haley's Thing. And a Blue Resonance Gem. Alright. What about Augments? Flax Sheath. Lots of Pointy Bits. I'm missing. I can buy them. Alright, I'm fine with that. I'll, I'll waste money. Thank you. Um, good. Gives me more damage to do. Um, I believe we can craft more stuff. And this raises my defense, so... I'm still missing materials, so I'll come back to that. Alright, let's head up. There's a merchant here. My eyes are dry, I can tell. So my eyes are like, you need to shut me, because I'm dry. You must be getting close. I hope. How can you tell? I can't. Look. We may still be able to save the others. Let's hurry. Damn, that guy's fucking dead. Rest in peace. Ah yes, let's teabag the dead guy. Fucking what is this, counter strike right now? Did teabagging originate from Counter-Strike? I feel like it did, but I don't know. It could have originated from, like, Call of Duty or something. A game that is inferior to Counter-Strike. I'm apparently very biased about my first-person shooter games that are shitty, to be honest. There. Thank you, Key. That treasure key. We're doing a lot more damage now with that new augment on our weapon. Can we go up here? Alright, this is where we're supposed to go, so let's head back for a second. Nope. Not gonna bother with you guys. Hope you're alright with that. Ooh, a note. I'm glad we came back. Wow. They're going down like nothing. Fidget? Is something wrong? <laughs> She's been silenced, Dust. While in this state, she would be unable to cast her projectiles. Fortunately, the effect is only temporary and will fade over time. You mean Fidget can't talk now? At all? That's terrible. <laughs> Awful. Not sure how I'll get by. That's me right now. Did we really need a cutscene to explain that though? Like, I could have figured that out myself to be honest. I mean, I guess it was cute for the rapport between the three characters, but I just want to get on with the game, guy. Like, I didn't want to fall back down or get up again. Never going to keep you down. I get knocked down, but I get up again. All right, now that we're at a safe point, I'm going to call it here. So we made our way through Abadis Forest, and we're still making our way through because we're finding the bandit leader, and we're trying to get to Denim or something. So... Thank you guys for watching. This has been Dust and Elysian Tale, and I have been Shazel Games. So don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good shish, and don't forget to check out my social media. Yeah, yeah, baby. Okay, goodbye. See you in the next part.